If you, like everyone else, think that USA is going to win the Ryder Cup, you are wrong. Yep, if you saw one of my other videos on the Ryder Cup, you would have known that I was saying that the USA were going to win. If we look at the data golf um, chance of winning, 54% US, 37% Europe. I think the model is wrong. I think that the pundits are wrong. And I think that Team Europe do it. So, let's have a look. I propose that we play a game of top trumps. We look at the players in order from Team USA and Team Europe, compare and contrast, and then at the end I'm going to show you the secret source to why Team Europe are going to win. So first of all let's do Scotty Scheffler versus Rory. So we know that they're both really good players. Um, one and two in the official go golf world rankings. One and two in the data golf rankings. Rory is number one in the data golf rankings. So that's a point to Team Europe. He has a lot of green on the card. Um, a lot of top tens. A win. Great. If we look at Scheffler, also a lot of green, a couple of wins. But where the red does come out is here, putting. The guy simply cannot putt. We look at Rory, he's been getting better at putting. Match play is all about the putts. Sticking it in close is great, but when your man steps up, makes a 20-footer, and then suddenly you've got to make your, your five foot. Yeah, there's there's no way that, that Scheffler outdoes Rory in any competition around the greens. So Europe wins. Um, Cantlay and Hovland. So Cantlay, fifth in the world. I, I'm only going to use data golf rankings from now on. Fifth in the world, third in the world. Point to Team Europe. If we... Look at this, bunch of green, bunch of white, a cut, not great. Now, who's going to bet against Hovland, right? Two wins back to back, uh, just a bunch of green, another win, and again, putting, 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 putting. Now, what really stands out for me, if you've seen my other videos on stats and, and winning stats, we, we talk about the four to five strokes per round being the, the strokes gain that wins tournaments. Far over five in the in the Tour Championship. Hovland is an absolute machine. No one's betting against him. No one's betting that Cantlay is better than Hovland. Europe win. Uh, Chauflet against Rahm. So... Um, Number four and number six in the world. They're, they're both great players. Um, I would say that on results, Chaffle is, um, is is leading in terms of you know form. But all of these like 19s, 24s, 42nd, 24. It's good, right? It's it's like he's up there. But if we look at John Rahm, okay, not great in the last few, but win, 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 win. Rahm's a winner, right? Uh, there's no way on earth I'm betting against Rahm in this match-off. Europe wins. If we look at Morikawa and Tommy Fleetwood, I like both these guys a lot. Um, eighth and seventh, like they're neck and neck. In, in terms of uh, data golf rankings. Um, Morikawa. Now, this is this is okay, this isn't okay, this isn't okay. What's going on here? And what's going on here? You know, this guy, hot and cold with a putter, um, just like, how could he be that bad? Um, just randomly at a tournament. 
um, not looking good. Tommy's come into some form, top tens, top tens, top tens. You know, almost won the the Canadian Open. 2.2 strokes gained putting on the field. These these you know 3.3s that that's you know on another day that's a win. So yeah, in my mind, Tommy. Plus, you know, Tommy's got got a bit of uh, a bit of something about him in match play. Um, he loves that Team Europe thing. He, he loves representing the team. Yeah, easy. Europe win. So, uh, Homer and Hatton. Uh, 10th and 13th in the world. Homer's got great run of form recently. Um, not so great around here. Um, you know, can be a little bit hit and miss around the greens. But overall... Decent. Hatton, not so good, but the putting, the the, the putting is is there. He he can be clutch, and I think he's got that that spirit. I talked about it on the on the Team Europe video. Passion, passion can count. You know, you can do miraculous things when you're really driven. So I'm going to give this. Uh, let, let's just call this a push, but probably Europe wins. Um, Wyndham Clark and Matt Fitzpatrick. I can't even believe we're comparing these two guys. 12th and 15th. Um, Clark's had a couple of wins, but he's not backed him up. He's he's kind of hit and miss. Streaky putting, streaking approach play. Look at Fitzpatrick. Great run of recent form. Huge putting week. Um, a 4.3. That wins nearly every week, right? He won the, the RBC with a 3.8 strokes gained. Um, so this is just the field or, or one guy out doing him at the BMW. And really, um, you know, he should have won the, the Omega European Masters as well. This one's very clear cut for me. Europe wins. Fowler and Aberg. Uh, 14th and 38th in the world. Aberg fresh off a win. Look at these trophies, right? Who's betting against a man that wins this much? Because remember, match play is about winning your match. It's not about winning against 72 guys over 72 holes. It's about 18 holes, man to man, getting the job done. Ricky, I love you, Ricky, but one win, and it was one win in four years or whatever. Uh, Europe win. Sam Burns and Justin Rose. Sam was a funny pick. 19th in the world, 22nd in the world for, for Rosie. Um, yeah, uh, we we think that he might have been picked because he's good friends with Scheffler. Um, he's he's going to need to be. There's going to need to be some magic. Not great form. Misses a bunch of cuts. Um, just has like weird off days where he's just like he's just crappy uh rose on the other hand um solid performances he's had a win at pebble beach in the pro-am but you know a few off days here and there i think it probably edges to team europe on this one but i'd, I'd probably concede a draw but we're still heavily in favor of team europe spieth Guard. Now, this is 23rd in the world and 51st in the world. This is where it gets a bit tricky for me. Um, big speed fan. He went through uh, went through a bit of a funny funny patch at the beginning of the year. He had a, a second place, and it seemed to be that not winning did did him in. Um, just came back the next three weeks, crappy. Then had a fifth place. Then another two weeks of crappy, so not really sure what was going on with Spieth there. Um, <clears throat> Hoygaard, on the other hand, um, you know, great run in the last few tournaments. He has some streakiness about him, though. Um, I'm probably going to give this one to Team USA. So it's still, I don't know, seven to one um, Team Europe. Harmon 
versus Lowry. Tricky one this. Um, 16th and 40th in the world. Um, Harmon can putt. Harmon can win. Um, yep. Lowry. Yeah, yeah. Can't really do either. So uh, this one's to, to Team USA. 7-2. to two. Thomas and Stracker. I mean, I love JT. But this is crap. Um, this is just not good in any in anyone's book. This is awful in JT's book. I saw him with all the um, contraptions and stuff, rumours flying around that he wasn't using his dad as his coach, uh, swing coach anymore, and his dad's got annoyed and has come out in the press to say that's preposterous. I don't know, there's some funny stuff going on. Um, I mean, looking at JT's swing... There's some glaring things to me as, you know, not an expert on the golf swing by any stretch, but I think someone needs to grab hold of him and just uh, just help him out. Not good. Sepp Stracker, you know, the guy's won recently. Uh, great putting. When he's putting, he's, he's doing well. Um, second at the Open. You know, it, it's he's, he's clearly better. In this, in these stats right now, than JT is another one to Team Europe. Um, last but not least, Liv Brooks Kepper and Robert McIntyre. Robert um, is 127th in the world. He qualified. He, he wasn't a captain's pick. Um, Kepka has been plucked off of the other tour. Uh, he had a couple of wins. Um, won Live Orlando, won the PGA Championship. Data's patchy for him, but th this was the thing that stood out for me when I was looking at, at why the USA uh, picks were a little bit odd. Not good for, like, losing against the field. And people are calling Live exhibition fields, not full competitions, not full tournaments. Um, not looking good for me. 64th at the Open. Does that suggest he doesn't travel well? 17th in London? I don't know. We look at McIntyre. When he putts, he putts exceptionally well. Second at the Genesis. Fourth in, the, in Czechoslovakia. Um, obviously, applies his trade in Europe. He's a, he's a DP World Tour player. I think that the additional putting, the uh, familiarity with with European travel and food, you know, that, that stuff is important. Um, that's another one for Team Europe. So I think that's pretty undeniable that in a in a top trump style game, Team Europe have it. I, I mean, I, I'm brimming with confidence now. My, my money is safe. Now, this is the, the real key for me and the, the thing that pushed me over the, the edge when I was looking for the the, the data. Course history. So, Marco Simone Golf Club um, in Italy. Last hosted the 2023 uh, DS Automobile Italian Open. Let me tell you who's played at this course before. None of the Americans. No one on the American team has played this course before. Who has played it? Rory McIlroy. He's come fourth. In four rounds, he has been 2.66 strokes per round better than the field. I mean, that's really good. A quarter of a stroke higher than the model suggested he should have been. So this is the same model that, that Data Golf have used to say that there's a 50-odd percent chance that the USA are going to win. That model under-predicted what McElroy would have done at this course. OK, let's have a look at Tommy Fleetwood, also played here, came second, 2.51 strokes gained, nearly two strokes better than the model suggests. He's got history around this course, he clearly does well there, or can do well there, that's the one. Who else have we got? Uh, Robert McIntyre, he's won there, right? 
he's played there five times. That that's that's a lot, and it's I think it's more than anyone else uh, other than Matt Fitzpatrick. Two point one five strokes gained per round at, at this course on the on the field. Two strokes better than the model predicts. I, I think we have to question how good the model is right now against okay, for these players on this on this uh, this track. Tyrrell Hatton, eighth, nearly two strokes around, a stroke better than the model predicts. Matt Fitzpatrick, a second, he's played this six times, um, one and a half strokes better. Uh, Hoygaard, he's been a winner here, 1.57 strokes. I mean, I think that's all we've got um, for the people that have played there out of both teams. They're all Europeans. They've all done exceptionally well. Three of uh, two of the guys have won. So this is undeniable for me. My money's on Team Europe. They're the winners. This doesn't constitute fina constitute financial advice. You do with your money what you want. I'll see you next time when we celebrate the win.